Hi, everybody. It's Derek again, and this is tutorial number four. It is all about creating passphrases and changing your email passwords on GSS. So, the share screen here. Where are we? Here we go. And again, we have Firefox and we have. Let's just start up by saying that a good passphrase is one that is super easy for you to remember and very hard for your adversaries out there to guess. And the longer, the better. Right now, all of our systems are designed to accept passwords up to 50 characters long. So that's a lot. Right now, for the test account, I'm going to show you what the password is to give you an idea. I use phrases that make sense to me, and I always use camel case and a punctuation character and a number at the end. And that way, when I go to change it, I can use the exact same phrase. All I have to do is increment the number by one digit. So let's edit this. Why don't we let's edit it to 43. And we'll leave there. We'll copy it. And then we'll go over here and we'll go into GSS. Now, when you change your password, it now already loads our current one. So I'm going to. Do that, hit update, and it's good. And then I go back here and hit save changes. Okay. Now, when I log out, I'll break in. It uses the one we created, only it's one digit more. And this is super easy to do. Think of something like, well, yeah, this is not my actual passphrase, but in the past, I have used things like life, the universe, and everything equals 42, which is from Douglas Adams, Douglas Adams' books on the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Or you can do a thing like Derek had a Mustang, a Ford Mustang, 1969, and this is true. Uh, any kind of thing that is personal to you and you find it very easy to remember, add some punctuation. Another thing you could do, for example, is change the punctuation to a dot. Did 
Did I copy it? Let's make sure. All right. Now, let's update and see what it says. Yeah. Now, when I go back here, look, there it is. It went through the okay thing for me. The whole point is this is way easy to do and you can put a reminder in your calendar for every five months or so to go through and change it and yeah, increment by one digit and it's just the same one I've been using, the same bass phrase now for years on end because all you have to do is change the digit once. So there's that. Let's do it this way, okay? Let's log out. Let's put in some bad data. Now, is it going to tell you you put in bad data? Maybe you forgot. I don't understand how anybody would put in bad data because I always have the browser remember from me. So I'm going to assume the browser is wrong. I need to fix that. So I'm going to say, okay. And then, no, we don't want to update that. What we want to do is this. It reset and I'll go have a look. Let me stop that share. Well, share. Let's see. My G and here we find a pass. Hit control C, stop that share, go back to Windows and hit reload. And now we want to put that in there. Now we hit login. We don't want to update, not really. What we want here is that temporary one, and we want to go here, and we want to add it and change it to 44. It's good. Yeah, well, I'll bet it and see what happens here. Look at that. So, those are the ways you would 
resetting your passwords. I'll say one last thing about past phrases, super long ones that are in excess of 20 characters are almost impossible to break. And if you do camel case like I do, like how many is it by the way? There's one, two, three, four, is it seven, eight, 10, 11, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, do the I six seven. That's a twenty eight character bass race. It's super easy to remember. In camel case, it's amazing how easy it is to do something like this, especially if you think to yourself, think of a simple sentence with no spaces in camel case, and then you're done. Okay, let's cancel here, and we'll get out of here, and I will finish again by saying, if you need help, you send me a line, and I'll meet with you in Zoom. Bye now.